Hey guys, what's happening? So, my Dremel tool, my Craftsman Dremel tool, finally died on me after like 20 years of having this thing. It's plugged in right now, just no power. So I figured I'd troubleshoot this thing. But uh, it would be nice if I didn't have to buy a new one. But uh, yeah, I've had this thing since I was probably a teenager. It's probably one of the first tools I bought. Alright, so I'm going to plug it. So you should always check the obvious things first. Obvious thing to be like the brushes. I'm suspecting it's probably the switch, but let's look at the brushes. Just fine. Okay, that looks good. Look at the contacts. What's weird is it has an internal contact. It does kind of look a little, little dark. I'm going to put a little, use my screwdriver here and see, get some of that oxidized stuff off of right there. Nice and clean. Same thing for the other one. That looks fine. And the idle off so it gets good contact with the brush. I'll also have it unplugged. Alright. Alright. So now I'll go back in and see if it made any difference. I suspect it won't. Nope, still nothing. I gotta take this thing off. It should twist off. And there is some torque screws here I gotta deal with. Alright, take the brushes out again. I took out four screws. It should just separate. There we go. I think I, I can't remember if I, I took this apart a long time ago or not. Yeah, so there's two contacts in there. I don't know if you can see that, but just get a light in there. Well, there's two contacts in there. And that's actually what I'm going to be looking at. I want to see if there's continuity between there. All right, so I'm going to put a little, my little deoxid on there. Stuff's awesome. It's made by Craig Laboratories. This stuff's awesome. Cleaning contacts better than anything I've ever used before. Work it in. Yeah, it's interesting. This is not even a... I don't see any sort of rectifier in there. So this thing is definitely... It's a 120 volt motor. I guess I don't see a rectifier in here. So this is an AC, AC motor. Alright, so I figured how this thing works. So you have, uh, you have your hot wire here and then your neutral. The hot is bridged over to this uh, contact right here. And this contact is touching the brush right here. So what happens is these two little things up here, they bridge over. It just basically creates a, like a basic contact. So really there's like, I mean, nothing to it, you know what I mean, when the switching part. So I'm going to test it with some continuity. I just want to see if we're actually getting, it's actually bridging over like it's supposed to. Okay. We're getting contact between the two. I wish you could see this better. So I know the switch is actually going through and would be allowing the... So at this point, I should be getting a contact between the hot and the brush contact. So now if I turn the switch off, no contact. 
Okay, so I know the switch is working. Now, that makes me think that the neutral should be on the other side. Neutral should be the other contact. And I'm not getting anything. No continuity. Alright, so I gotta figure out that. But I think the problem is actually on the neutral side. Just wanna show you something real fast. Made in the USA. Told you this thing was old. So I cleaned up the shaft a little bit and oiled the berries up and everything, so. Alright. Alright, still no go with the contacts. Put it back together, tested it. Still no go. I notice I'm not getting continuity between this pair here. But I took a little cut off there, right there. So I'm just not getting good contact with this connector right here. I'm hoping I can pull up. So I think that's the issue right there. I'm not getting contact here, but I am here. And that wire is off, see? Alright, so I'm going to try to fix that. Come back. Alright, so I opened up that plastic right there and I tried to attempt to get some solder in there to reattach that lead right there. Alright guys, take a look. A little wire right there. I got that little wire to <coughs> solder onto that, onto that lead right there. Double check verify with my continuity tester. Alright, now we have contact again. Alright, let's get them put back together and we'll test it again. See what happens. Alright guys. Back in business. Yeah, if this wasn't American made, I don't know if I would have spent all the extra time and effort. But so normally I would think it'd be the switch, but I mean it's kind of unusual to have a broken winding. So but. cool though. Awesome. Hopefully this will last another 20 years forever. That was